Good day everybody, Tamara Cromartie here to introduce you to 1195-2 at Spirit Lake and I'm starting off with this incredible view that we have and so this property is waterfront and you do have uh, an access road that goes down part of the way uh, a future owner they can do what they want to do put a seasonal dock in all right look at this here are the ducks i'll be quiet for a sec wow wow yeah you're sitting on one hectare of uh property here and sky's the limit with what you want to do just incredible incredible it has uh see C3 zoning, so you're able to do uh, uh, different things. Whatever it is that you want to do, you can operate an Airbnb with cabins. We're just going to go for a walk. You can, you know, uh, like tourists, having the tourists coming and renting these cabins. And if you want a cabin, there are no cabins here right now. I'm just giving you an idea. Listen to those ducks. Look at this beauty. All right, it's my tour guide. All right, let's go this way. So you have a bungalow over there. We're gonna take a quick look at it, but look at those mountain views in the back, right? So very flat here up in this area, if you wanna build a house and rent out the uh, cabin. Or should I say rent out the bungalow as a cabin and build a house? You could do that here. All right, so we had to wrap back around because, um, yeah, I went the wrong way. But uh, anyhow, look at, look at, it's like a little mini desert here too. Look at this sand, right? Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to the bungalow, to the house. Um, and I'll quickly show you that. Look at those beauties. Those are my my uh, little friends that are helping me do the tour. Anyways, alrighty. So you have a greenhouse over here. There used to be um, an old greenhouse right here, but it was just removed. Anyhow, see the fence separates both these properties. And as I was mentioning, you could really turn this into a tourist spot or keep it as your own personal oasis. Look at those mountains over there. Holy doodle. Right, so you have a nice size greenhouse there. You see how green that lake is, wow. All right, so just a quick tour, just to show you the property. Um, again, zoning C3, which means there's a lot of opportunity and you have awesome neighbors with beautiful horses. Uh, you share a driveway. All right. Okay. And just turning around just to look at that. Would you look at that? Wow. And incredible. All right. So the well is belongs to the neighbors. And so it's going to be a temporarily shared well. Somebody's going to have to get their own water source, which uh, eventually, and that can be negotiated, no problem. All right, so it's going to come around here. Look at the sand, just like, actually you can like advertise a little mini, mini desert here. All right. At one point in time, this used to be a bakery. So you see, you know, the opportunity uh, to do something other than keeping it personal. But if you want to keep it personal and private, you could do that in a heartbeat. So we're just going to take a quick, quick tour of the building, which, you know, of course, somebody's going to want to likely do some renovations. But the RV here or the uh, fifth wheel, that's not included. But this just gives you an idea of where... Uh, of, of like you could have your whole family out here and everybody has RVs and then access to the water 
and then there's so much space for your extended family and our guests like okay so we're just going to quickly take a look at um um, at the bungalow, which is under 600 feet. Um, this addition here is more like a porch. Um, has one bedroom, one bath. So we'll just go take a quick, quick gander. All right. So again, back in the day, this used to be a bakery. So the lady who had it back then used to have tables set up in here and inside. But anyhow, it, it's a home now, or it could be possibly a bakery again. Look at the lights. Look at the lighting, I mean. All right. Beautiful horses. Okay. All right. And then another whole set of windows right there. The cabins are blocking them, but all right. So welcome. It's all emptied out now and it's vacant. Okay. So propane. Uh, monitor there. You have three-piece bath. Good size. Look at this. Like, I mean, there's the water. It's incredible to have this view from your living room. Say what? Wow. Okay. All right. So you got a living room area here. I uh, it. And you have a, uh, another entrance or exit. Um, here's the kitchen. Could easily, all oh, those are cute. You could easily have a little dining room table right here. All right. So a newer stove, not brand new, but newer, newer than old. <laughs> okay, and then so you have washer and dryer as well. Right, stackable, water tank, perfect. You have off the kitchen, one bedroom, another big window. So if this were mine, I'd probably have my bed here because that RV is gonna be, our fifth wheel is gonna be gone. And look at these views. Okay, so good size bedroom. Hey, listen. This property is being sold as is, where is. You know, somebody's gonna come along and they're gonna wanna do some stuff and it needs, you know, some things with the house, but is what it is. Okay, I just wanted to show you this. This septic, it's got its own septic. All right, that's the field right there. It's kind of nice, it's close to the house because it's not taking up all this space here. Wow, so like a hectare. Are you kidding me? On a little mini desert next to some beautiful horses and awesome neighbors. Okay, alrighty. Well, there you have it. 1195-2 Spirit Lake. Mountain views, glass of sheep, go in the water, beautiful. Hey, thanks for taking the time and joining me today of 1195-2 um, Spirit Lake. This is a gem. Rare opportunity you have here in that waterfront, right? Okay, there you have it. If you want to view this property or any other property that's listed on the market, give me a call, send me a tax. But if you're already working with a realtor, call your realtor because they can show you any property that's out there as well. Stick with them if you're happy, okay? Take care now.